and low, the once great warrior returned to smite those he left behind. Stuart of Clan Taylor cleft the defenders in two to sink the spirit of Sepiroth. Or more simply, Stuart Taylor opened the scoring against his former club. The defenders of the Love Street turf set out to repel the invaders and Mark Roberts almost struck an equally mighty blow. John Coughlin encouraging from the ramparts and Ricky Gillis taking on the noble challenge, unlucky here. But the home defence contributed to their own downfall. David Lowing to Lee Miller to 2 0. Red hair smells danger for the Saints' defence. Well, all right, a strange mixture of red, brown, russet, and perhaps a dash of pink. A bad hair day for Miller, just a bad day for Saints. There did seem a way back for them, however, just after the hour mark when Brian McGinty reduced the deficit with a sweetly struck effort. Almost a resigned look from the goalscorer, who nevertheless picked his spot well. And at the death there was nearly parity, Jamie McGowan repelled by Alan Ferguson. No happy ever after yet for either club. It's a bit subdued at the moment, you know, you've won the league and we'd like to know um, if we were going to get the rewards, but um, we just got on with it, that's all we do, you know, um, we just got on with it. Uh, our remit when Owen and I got the job was to win the first division, we've done that, we've had a great response from the players, and uh, we just got on with it, and what happens will happen, you know, uh, no matter where we'll be playing next year.